It's a huge box. It's like seriously heavy. Did you bring it in here? No. Yeah, did you no, have the, help? The, the delivery guy dropped that off. <laughs> I, I saw him lift a heavy thing, so I evaporated. It says team I, lift on it. So yeah, right here, team lift. Yeah, I'm not a team player. Heavy. You, you want to help me with that? Nope. <laughs> oh, I think you're just the receiver oh it's sciatica oh, huh sciatica oh man <laughs> it's it's got all these labels on it whoa it is so heavy though here check this out it's got to weigh this has to be 50 pounds you think at least every, at least every bit of 50 pounds yeah, i would say maybe 60 i don't know what's uh heavy, what else in the box though. i can't wait to see it this thing is gonna be like I bet you can plug your boat into it. We're going to try to plug it into Chad's boat. <laughs> I doubt that the inverter inside will, it will handle it, but dude, if it does, craziness. That would be super sweet. Okay. That thanks, super thanks, cool. for, thanks for taking care of that, Chad. Yeah, man. Anytime. Appreciate it, bud. What's up, my beautiful people? Today we have the pleasure of reviewing the Anchor Solix F2000 power station. Now, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of renewable energy and lithium, so the Anchor F2000 is right up my alley. So the first thing you'll notice is the design. Nothing protrudes, nothing to catch on anything, as we sailors will unquestionably stow this in some faraway tiny locker that it barely fits in. Inside that case is a 2048 watt hour LifePo 4 battery, which is roughly the equivalent of two of my shipboard batteries, a little bit less, but just about. There's also a built-in battery charger inside that's equipped with rapid recharge hyper flash technology that can charge this big boy from zero to 80% in just one hour. The front has the display, a light, all the AC and DC outputs, and around back are the charging inputs and the expansion port for the optional extra battery. There's a handle that stows inside the unit so you can pull it out and move this thing around easily with the pair of integrated wheels. On Anchor's website, the F2000 currently lists for $12.99 or $21.99 with the expansion battery. All right, I'm gonna plug this beast in. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna let that thing recharge all the way and then we're gonna take it over to my buddy Chad's boat who you met at the beginning of this video and we're gonna try to plug his boat into it. We're gonna try to run his AC on it. Cause if you can run AC from that without using your house batteries, oh, money, man, worth it. Yeah, you got that, everything's on. Okay, so what do I look at? All right, so the boat's plugged in. Let's see if we have voltage. Down below. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Let's see if this registers. Let's see if it says that I'm doing shore power. It's inverting for some reason. Oh, there we go, it's got shore power. Oh. Oh, it's 82 watts so far. AC's running, man. Oh, cool. So, so can we try the can we try the AC? It's on. Oh, it's on right now. Yeah. No way, it worked. Yeah, yeah, it works. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah. it, not only is it working, but it's it's cold. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy about this. I've been waiting three days for this. I'm not even gonna lie. This is it, kind of amazing. The fans running. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pumps running. It's got a soft start kit. Cool. There it goes. No way. Yeah. No way. Nice. That's Dude. so cool. Yeah. Output 1500 watts right now. Really? Yeah. 
So wow. everything's running on AC right now. Is it charging your batteries too? It's, yeah, so the battery charger's running and charging the batteries. All the lights are on. And, and the AC. Below, the AC, both refrigerators. So no anyway, way. This yeah. thing is actually yeah. pulling all of the amperage from your whole boat. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's huge. That's giant. Yeah. That's phenomenal. So, let's talk numbers. As I mentioned before, the F2000 packs a 2048 watt hour LifePo 4 battery that's super safe, better for the environment, and has a long lifespan of 3000 cycles, which is around 10 years, give or take. The battery itself comes with a five year warranty, and inside the sealed box is a 2400 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's got a 30 amp plug, which is perfect for boat or RV, and the inverter itself is rock solid and really quiet and can power pretty much anything you need to run aboard a boat. Hence this test. So like, tonight, okay. like tonight, I wouldn't have, I w if we were at anchor, I wouldn't need the AC because there's a breeze, it's not that hot. Right. So, but if I ran all my batteries down or whatever, ran them down real low or for whatever reason, I could use this to charge up. So would you buy this? Oh yeah, I'd buy it. Sort of like a backup? Yeah, if it was around $200. <laughs> 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 it ain't $200. <laughs> it's, it's a lot more than $200. I know it's, no, it's, but I titch more than $200. It's a little bit. No, this is sweet, man, because, like, especially since I don't have a generator anymore. So if I was going to use, like, a, 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 well, I have my little Honda 2200 watt generator, but that's loud as hell. I, I bet you could let this thing sit here for a little while. If I isolated the engine battery, like if my if my batteries are totally dead, engine battery was dead, it would probably charge it back up. I've been out to sea with the autopilot running and the boat just starts to encircle. So I'm like, hey guys, what the hell are you doing up here? And they're like, Captain, we don't know. And I'm like, oh no. It happened batteries across in the Pacific. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, well, thanks for that. Thanks. Right. thanks. Appreciate so, you calling yeah. me out there. Are, are you running the AC right now? Because you're pulling quite a bit of power. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's charging the whole boat. And the bridge. Okay. Yeah, so I'm running a refrigerator, freezer, the AC unit, the pump for the AC unit, right. the battery charger, which is charging the batteries because they were okay. down. Because uh, my house normally runs between 400 and 700 watts. That's right it. Now, right now you're pulling 1500. Yeah, this is. No, 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 no. This this is, that's without the AC's running, of course. This is. Push that button again. 1514. This is 1500 watts. Steady. I, is, did, I did not think it was going to work. I did not think pull. it was going to work. I thought yeah. we were going to pop the fuse on this thing mm -hmm. or it's going to smoke it and I'm going to have a hole in my boat. And it's been like 10 minutes and it's still working. I kept thinking, do I have an extension cord on the boat so we can burn the dock down? Rather than <laughs> <laughs> High five. High five.